Baby Talk is taped before a live studio audience. Well, what do you think, Mickey? I think Aunt Beverly will like the apartment. Who am I kidding? She's gonna hate it. Ever since her husband died, she hates everything and everybody. That's because she hasn't met Mickey yet, otherwise known as Mr. Adorable. Uh, Maggie, if she's so difficult to be around, why did you invite her to visit? She invited herself. She said she wanted to see her only grandnephew before she dies. Makes sense. Could be a pretty messy encounter afterwards. <laughs> oh, my God, that must be Aunt Bev. It's only for three days. It's only for three days. I am sure you're exaggerating. She can't be that bad. Maybe she lightened up over the years. Does anybody have an aspirin? <laughs> Maybe not. <laughs> Aunt Bill. Hello, dear. Uh, Howard, would you get her an aspirin? Uh, Mr. Fogarty, would you take her suitcase? And Bev, there's somebody here who wants to meet you. This is Mickey, my son. Hi, Mickey. Oh, what an adorable baby. Oh, how depressing that he's going to grow up to be a person. Something tells me this woman will never make it as a game show host. Your flowers are dying, but then aren't we all? <laughs> oh, thank you. Well, I've got a big day planned for us. I thought maybe we could take a stroll through the park and ride the carousel, and afterwards stop for ice cream sundaes at Rumpelmeyer's. How does that sound? Do you have a bed for me? Sure, you'll take my bedroom upstairs. Oh, thank you, dear. I think I'll take a little nap now. I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> How's your aunt today? Oh, she's still as miserable as ever. Absolutely. Why quit when you're on a roll? Have you tried to cheer her up? I wish I knew how. Lady, sometimes the only one who can get through to a crabby old sourpuss is another crabby old sourpuss. Hold my brush. <laughs> I do love you. Oh, geez, look at this. The young and the hopeless. That's not the name of it. I wasn't talking about the show. I used to watch those programs. And one day, I gave them up. Cold turkey. I said to myself, Fogarty, what do you want to be? A watcher or a liver? Yeah. Chop liver. <laughs> I'm sorry, but did anybody ask for your opinion? Forgive me. Mm -hmm. So, what you got planned for today? Another nap? <laughs> well, Maggie mentioned something about dinner tonight, but I really don't enjoy going out much. If you do, be careful. You can get ripped off. Yesterday, I went into this cafeteria. There's a sign up. Half roast chicken, three fifty, A bargain. So, I says to the guy behind the counter, I'll take it. He says, you want potato? I says, is it extra? He says, no, it's OK. Go with it. <laughs> so I take it. And then I go up to the cashier. He rings me up. Chicken and potato, five dollars. I said, wait a minute. It's supposed to be three fifty. I thought the potato go with it. He says to me, it go with it. It don't come with it. Hey, how about that? It worked, and I don't even get it. <laughs> Whoever tells her the one about 
like firemen wear red suspenders, he'll have to beat her up with a stick. What was that sound? That was a laugh. It must have been Fogarty. No, he laughs like this. <laughs> it go with it. It don't come with it. <laughs> Maggie, I was thinking, uh, maybe it would do me good to go out for dinner tonight. Great. <laughs> and Maggie, do you think Mr. Fogarty might come? I think he'd be delighted to come. Oh! Uh, and do you think you might not? Aunt Pav, Mr. Fogarty will be here any minute. I'm coming. I saw this in the window today, and I couldn't resist it. Well, how, how, how do I look? You look wonderful. You don't think it's a little loud? Now, could you repeat that? I can't hear you over your dress. <laughs> He's here. Oh, 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 Maggie, I can't believe I'm actually going out on a date. Yes, Beverly, it's time to meet the young man you've selected. He's a house painter from Staten Island, New York. He's into liars, polka, darts, and socks that don't match. Beverly, say a big hello to Mr. Fogarty. <laughs> Beverly. Sesso. <laughs> Sesso? <laughs> Madame, these are for you. They're beautiful. In return, all I ask is that you grace me with the radiance and warmth of your smile and that you help me get up. Oh. <laughs> shall we go? We shall. You two have a wonderful time. <laughs> your chariot awaits, madame. And let's step on it. We're on the meter. <laughs> Hey, Cecil, I'm very impressed. This room, look at it. It reminds me of Casablanca. He's looking at you, kid. <laughs> <laughs> Two more of these. Dig in. Oh, I think I'll need a four. Not in this place. You just use your paws. Oh, my. Oh, come on, Bev. Life's messy. I mean, it's a lot more fun getting dirty than cleaning up. Come on. Get dirty. <laughs> well... Mmm. This is delicious. Sure it is. Mmm. Scoop it up. Enjoy yourself. That's what it's all about. There's a great big world out there waiting to be split wide open like an eggplant. And once you've done it, what have you got? Baba Ganoush! <laughs> Keep them coming. <laughs> ah, here you are, my dear. Mmm. Mmm, more, more! <laughs>
Yeah, buy yourself some new bells. <laughs> Marvelous. Oh, I wish I could do that. Well, what's stopping you? What do you mean? She's got youth. She's got sex appeal. She's got... She's got nothing on you, babe. <laughs> oh, stop it, Cecil. No, 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 Cecil. Thank <laughs> you.